What's going on guys, Tua Cruz here, checking in in my beautiful hometown of Rochester, Michigan. And I'm very excited because today is going to be my first ever gravel bike ride here in my home state. And I actually just got this bike in the mail from Poseidon. They're a direct to consumer brand. So literally just built this bike up and didn't have really any time to fine tune anything because this group ride is about to start. So we're gonna test out this bike today on an awesome summer solstice ride. So let's go ahead, get on the bike and start today's ride. So this ride is literally about to start and this is my first time really riding the bike. So just warming up the brakes a little bit, getting used to the shifters. This uses a micro shift. So I'm not really used to that right now. And looks like they're about to start this ride. So pretty excited to be back in my hometown actually. Great to ride with some old friends, some old teammates. And yeah, it's gonna be a big group ride today. All right, just doing a few fine tuned adjustments on the bike, had to tighten the pedals. These are brand new and oh man, I'm a little bummed I'm gonna get the shiny new bike all dusty on the gravel road, but really excited to go take her out. All right, no more time for adjustments now. Ready to start. So my first impressions of the micro shifters, they're pretty good. They're shifting really responsibly, easy to get used to. So no problems there. And already I'm feeling the comfort of the gravel bike I've been riding just my road bike for so long now. And yeah, really excited to see how these perform out here on the dirt roads. And this is crazy. I haven't ridden these roads in so long because I've been living away over in Japan, now in Vietnam. And really exciting to be able to ride these dirt roads again and test them out on the bike. Overall, the handling feels really good so far. Um, I just sort of semi-dialed my position in, but these have these nice wide sweeper bars, which I guess are pretty common with gravel bikes. I used to have them when I raced cyclocross on my cyclocross bike too. So they're feeling really good. And yeah, I guess this bike, the Ambition X drop bar is, it's kind of like an all rounder kind of gravel bike. It, it can go pretty fast on the road. It can hit the trails. It's got a bunch of mounts to mount stuff if you're doing a more longer kind of adventure ride. But today's ride, like there's a bunch of people. I think there's like 50 plus people here right now. And we're not going too fast, which is, um, I'm really grateful. I've, I've been here in Michigan actually for two weeks now, but I've been so busy with family stuff that I haven't really had any time to ride. And I didn't really have a, a normal bike to ride other than just a fat tire e-bike. So it's good to be back out here. And yeah, just a leisurely pace ride today and start building up the fitness again. Back when I used, I actually, used to go to school right around this area. I went to high school and middle school here. And before a lot of these roads were like dirt the whole way and they're slowly like extending them. So the pavement is going further and further. But before this used to be a dirt road already. So we're slowly losing our gravel roads, our dirt roads, but there's still no shortage of them here. There's so many hundreds of miles that you can ride here just on the gravel and dirt away from most cars. But because there's a high school and middle school, like pretty well ranked one. This is a popular area, so they're developing more houses and paving more roads. All right, so far the, the brakes are performing okay. They're brand new, so they just maybe need some time to wear in a little bit. And here we are, starting on the gravel. Not really gravel, just kind of hard dirt. And oh yeah. The other great thing about these roads in particular is over here to the right side, you'll see there's a whole forest. This is actually a really big park called Stony Creek Metro Park. And they've got a ton of mountain bike trails in there and even some smooth road trails that you can ride a whole loop around the, it's got a lake there. So great place for cycling, running, and all sorts of activities. And let's work our way up to the front. But yeah, so far the bike's performing really good. Feels really fast. 
as it should on a new bike. Let's go see if I can find some old friends. And it's actually kind of funny. This is a longer ride. It's going to be a 60 mile ride, but I don't have time to do the whole ride today. I got to meet uh, some family for dinner later today. So I'm only doing the first part of the ride and I don't even have the cycling drink bottles yet. I've just got a Gatorade in my back pocket. What up? Hey, what up? Woo! <laughs> So this is exactly what this bike is perfect for. Just going from smooth pavement to gravel, smooth pavement, just rock it all. And yeah, the bike's feeling great with the bigger tires just floating over all this gravel. And I'm actually really starting to like these shifters the more that I use them. Really easy to tap the little button to go into a harder gear. Yeah, it's really nice. And I also like how the shifters are sort of like angled in with the drop bars, nice wide bars. This helps make it feel like more stable, more control, and smooth turning. But yeah, check out these beautiful neighbors. This is what I really love about riding here in Michigan on these gravel roads. Just beautiful neighborhoods, beautiful dirt roads. And yeah, cornering's feeling really good. Bike's feeling good. Good, man. Thanks, man. Freaking pro tour rider just rolled up. <laughs> you ride a lot, though, right? Like I did. This is my first ride in two weeks, though. Well, I mean, I'm talking like you haven't been sitting on your ass. So you I ride. normally train like 13 hours a week. Yeah. And I do like intervals and stuff. You do it, okay. Yeah, like I train like I race. Okay. Just to get KOMs. Uh, okay. <laughs> The other thing that's unique for me with this bike is when I used to have my cyclocross bike, I always had a double on the front, but now the modern trend is everyone to be one by and I was kind of worried that it might be a limited range of gears and so far it's doing really good as far as like the climbing gears and like this kind of steady pace, but I do kind of worry like if this is an actual fast, faster ride, I might be a little bit limited on the, the larger gears, but for this kind of ride, it's doing pretty great and with the climbing, so we'll test that out later when we do some hammer session tests on this bike. But yeah, the riding here doesn't get much better than this. Like just canopy trees, very few cars, and the roads are actually really smooth right now. So these tires are just floating over everything. And I'm sure I can dial in the tire pressure even more once I get used to uh, what's good and what's not. The other thing I'm not used to right now is the terrain here. There's very few actual like big hills. The longest climb you'll find here is maybe one or two minutes and even those are pretty rare. So it's just, but it's not entirely flat. So there's a bunch of like little rollers. So you'll be climbing like maybe 30 seconds and then going down and just constant up and down. So it's, I like it more than just flat riding. So it's pretty good, but quite different than what we've been riding over in Vietnam with the really long steep climbs. But yeah, this is definitely more suited to my style of riding. And so really can't wait to get my wife over here so she can experience this for herself. And the other interesting thing with a lot of the roads here is they're actually like a, a grid kind of system. So each road is like labeled with a mile, like how far north it is from Detroit, which is the main city in the area. So we're 31 miles about north of Detroit right now. So yeah. Uh, Detroit has a pretty bad rap, but the, the suburbs around it are actually really, really nice and just really beautiful, really wealthy areas. And countryside Michigan, like this is the outskirts of the city, so you can get like pretty good in some countryside areas on some local rides here even without going too far from home. So I was hitting some like smaller holes there. There's a lot of potholes and like just holes on the gravel roads that build up in general over time. So. You definitely feel it. It's not like it's going to be smooth butter over those, but it's definitely like a lot more comfortable than a road bike would be, just smaller tires. So, but you just got to be smart with your lines and if you avoid them, it's really smooth. And even if you hit them, it's not that bad of an impact. 
All right, we're about 50 minutes in, so I think it's time for me to head back. I wish I had time to do the full four hour ride today, but I got, I'm actually dog sitting for my brother today, so I gotta get back in my mountain. I'm also seeing my parents for dinner. I'm good, thanks. So they got a support vehicle too. Yeah, they're, they're hosting a lot of cool group rides like this and wow, it's fun to ride in a group, but it's also really nice to just go on a solo ride in these like gravel roads. Very few cars, just quiet, peaceful, relaxing, safe, very few cars. And yeah, this has been a great ride, a great test ride on this bike. Like I'm really glad uh, I just put this bike together real quick and it's been performing really great. Like really the ideal bike for this kind of like riding on these kind of roads and for a sub $1,000 like entry level kind of bike. Like I was debating while here, like should I get a mountain bike? Should I get a gravel bike? And like, I love the mountain biking, but it's also really exciting to be able to experience the gravel bike. And yeah, we'll be doing a lot more tests on this bike during my time here in Michigan. And so far, really liking the bike. Like the more I ride it, the longer I ride it, the more comfortable I am getting with the positions. I really like the, the handlebars. Like I feel like I have really good control with the turning and yeah, this bike is flying. Like on that group ride, there are a bunch of people with really high end carbon uh, gravel bikes, cyclocross racing bikes. And yeah, I felt like perfectly fine in that kind of ride. And I'm sure even if it was a faster ride, I'd feel fine. Like the only downsides, like, and this is really nothing against this bike because you can't expect more for a sub $1,000 bike is it is a little bit heavy and I'm not exactly a big fan of the one by. I did feel like my gear choice was a little bit limited sometimes. Like I was trying to get the exact cadence that I wanted and a specific gradient and I was really limited in the gears that I had to work with. But that's a problem with one by in general, not a problem with this bike in particular. So overall, the bike has been great. I'm really loving it and I'm enjoying my solo ride back to the parking lot so I can then rush home and see daddy. We got a golf course over here. Lots of golf courses over here actually. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Really great test ride, first ride on the new bike, the Poseidon Ambition X Drop Bar Edition. Performing like a champ. I'll leave a link to the, my original bike check review so you can see the full bike, all the components and everything. And I'm actually filming that out of order right now because I didn't have enough time after building the bike and starting this ride to film the video first. So I'm actually gonna film that in reverse order. So the bike will be a little dirty, but that's okay. I'll leave a link down to the company website as well. So you can check out the bike for yourself. It's a great bike, sub $1,000, great gravel bike. And I'm really enjoying it so far. And I'll be making some future updates the longer I ride it. So you can test out the durability. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Stay tuned for some more gravel and hopefully some mountain biking and track cycling videos here in my time here in Michigan in the US. And thanks as always to our awesome subscribers over on Patreon. Thanks to you guys for support. We're able to continue making awesome videos like this for you guys. And that's it for today's video. We'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise.